I'm at the Auto Mall or one of the Auto Malls in Appleton. So this is a uh, multi-branded Infiniti, Maserati, Alfa Romeo, Volvo, Jaguar, Land Rover. So some of your luxury brands. I'm gonna do a walkthrough of the lot. Uh, there's a lot of cars, but this is a lot of brands. So I don't know if this lot is really all that full for what uh, for what they have to offer for as many brands this year. Looks like more uh, Volvos than anything else. Probably some Infinities, but I haven't quite run through this. All right, I'm gonna walk through some of the cars. At least show the uh, sale tags. Some of these lots I've run across, some uh, 2023s, and of course some 2025s, like this uh, S60s 2025. And again, I'm amazed at how few car lots have anything under 50,000. So these Volvos, there's a few that are under 50, but just barely. And I'm also amazed at how many cars are over 100. Anytime you get, uh, I don't know, you think about like a, say a 60 month loan and uh, you gotta pay over a thousand dollars in principal. Although well, hopefully you're uh, not borrowing the money for these and uh, you've got something to trade in so it's not quite as bad. With the Volvo SUVs, we're 50, 60,000. What are these? Yeah, XC60s primarily. All right, let's look at the uh, XC90s. A little more your traditional full-size Volvo SUV. So definitely you can see the price difference. So you go up to the uh, larger XC90 and then you hit that uh, more like 70 and 80 rather than 50 and 60. Let's see if we can get 50. Uh, also have some Range Rovers here. This one's uh, up on its high pedestal, so it is a nicer one. 96,000 Range Rover. Oh, I love the matte gray rims. Light interior really stands out on this. Trying to keep the angle of my camera, right? This is the Sport. So not even, I don't think still the HSE in these things. Very nice though. 97 the window sticker. I always, I mean, I guess if you're spending that, you're not as worried, as worried about uh, mileage, but only 21 miles a gallon. Some Infinity SUVs. You know, I've never really looked at these. I guess I just don't see them on uh, used car lots. And when you see something used car lot, you always gotta wonder if it's there because it's garbage or there because it uh, lasts a long time. QX 60s. Think over how dirty some of these look. I know it's hard, or it's gotta be hard to run a car a lot. See very similar miles per gallon. Prices vary. Although there's always surprisingly similar prices and mileage and options between makes. Makes you wonder how planned that is. They all share in the same parts. Or why do they end up being so similar? This is a little smaller version. XQ50 compared to the XQ60. So their numbers are very much, um, tell you how big it is. Just show you the difference between the, the maroon one on the other side is a 60 and this gray one on this side is a 50. So similar, but a little bit size difference. And not even as much price difference. So 3,000 more for this XQ60. It's 2024, 22 miles per gallon. A little better mileage on the XQ50, 25 miles per gallon in 2024. It's actually pretty comparable right there, those two. It's a good comparison. More of the Volvo's XC90s. Firmly in the $60,000 range. 
All right, let's look at this one. Eighty-one thousand dollars. A little more options on it. Six passenger. Well, it's the Ultra, so presumably higher trim package. It's funny; those are uh, laminated like a placemat compared to the other ones that are stuck in the window. All kinds of different options on how to open the back gate. All right, a little bit of a blank area. All right, got one of the Infinity XQ80. So the larger Infinity. This thing looks like uh, Tahoe sized. For the people that aren't familiar. Yeah, look at that big flat grill. Kind of reminds, reminds me of a Lexus grill when they were doing those huge ones for a while, which is stepping back a little bit from now. Same thing, uh, window sticker looks like a placemat. 17 miles to the gallon, a little over $100,000. Guess if you spend 100000 on a car, you're not anyways near as concerned about the gas mileage. Oh, we do have a new Jaguar. I see a lot of used ja I mean, I see a lot of Jaguars, but I don't really think I see that many new ones in the uh, greater Appleton area, although I guess this one is also used. I think they're sharp. I, I read about their reliability and uh, I guess I just don't hear good things. Sometimes a car just has a uh, weak point, like the Range Rovers get a lot of bad rap. My understanding is a lot of the uh, stats that give them a bad rap is because of the uh, trouble with the uh, air suspension. So 47,000 for this F-Face. Oh, used 2023. Maybe these are all used up here. Another F base. 2023 has the original window sticker and then plus the used tag. So it's a used one because they preserve the sticker. Volvo, $36,000. 11,000 miles, pretty much new. S60. All right, kind of similar across here. I think it's another big Ford pickup. Catch the prices just so we have preserved some uh, reference points. All right, what model is this? 129,000. 2024. Got some other uh, add-ons. Looking for 133 out of this. Not much for badge, you're not even sure. Most of you have a Rolls Royce back in with those uh, narrow, narrow taillights. Obviously the Ford pickup. Not sure how that ended up on this lot. Maybe price point of 250. Some kind of lift on that. Super Duty, 46,000 in a 2018. All right, we have a Super on the slot, a Buick, Cadillac, Bronco. It's got a little bit of everything. Oh, that's gotta be the cheapest thing in the lot. Mini Cooper for 12,000. Alfa Romeo. I mean, this is the Alfa lot, 35,000 miles. Big coops in the rims. And I am not even trying to say that. The Realio. <laughs> I don't know. Mini Cooper. Scent Limited. Entertained that that's on this lot. I wonder what they traded this in on. 62,000 miles. Ah, same thing for the beer. Right? You don't know what they got. See, look at that light interior in the Cadillac. Like it just seems like the inside of it glows with the sun going in there. All right, looks like uh, Lexus is next door. I'll stop over there and see what they have. What's this Volvo? 
behind here, I believe, is uh, a, this rock path. Yeah, there we go. It's a course they use for the uh, Range Rovers. Actually, it might be hard to see the angle of this, but that's kind of an extreme angle. Plus, uh, I don't know if those rocks shift at all. Uh, impressive if the Range Rovers can make that trail. All right, another uh, S60. With all the dust that goes with it. 2025. The uh, placemat window sticker. Ultra, $52,000. Nice options. It's uh, kind of a long line of Range Rovers. Defender, 99000 I like that uh, texture on the on the hood. The step bars, I'm not sure if you can see inside. Nice interior. Dust on the roof. Back is uh, like really squared off. Oh, backup camera's way up there. Probably gives you a good view. Backup sensors. Taillights are interesting. Oh, look how those are gray and these are red. So we've got some differences in the taillights. Same shape, just different color. Other Defender. Kind of the more uh, caramel interior. $97,000. I can't imagine this gets much for mileage. 18 miles to the gallon. See, the, the bottom end is, they're all pretty similar. You know, it's, it's hard to get much below 20. Well, sort of a pickup. That's a lot of defenders. Yeah, 113,000 wall. Okay, a little over 20, 21,000. Definitely some bird mark. Deep tinted windows, hard to even see in there. Everybody's gone to the uh, flush door handles. See the uh, Range Rovers basically don't have a rear bumper. Fender still has something on the back. Definitely a different style. Oh, good. Double rear pin. I don't know if it's just to make it look. There's only one that's got a camera in it. Maybe the other is a satellite. Panoramic roofs. Yeah, I see why these are uh, kind of status symbol vehicles. If everybody knows they cost $100,000. Definitely uh, can show off that you got one and how old it is. We do have some discoveries. I remember these being kind of the uh, budget option. <laughs> budget option for Land Rover, but uh, not much there. What is this one? This... Land Rover Range Rover. But this is tiny. I thought these were Evokes at one time. Oh, it is Evoke, okay. Kind of changing the name a little bit. A Valor. Same thing, like no uh, rear bumpers. Definitely going big on the uh, panoramic roofs. I do like letting light in, but I like uh, being able to open them too, which some of these you can't open them with. 23 miles to the gallon. All right, this is what we get. 22 miles to the gallon. It's not really uh, going with the smaller one, isn't much of a gas savings. Just Price savings and it's a little smaller. Kind of joking about cars being sold by the pound. You can see what these are. All right, that's the uh, used car side. Walked through most of the Volvos. I think I uh, kind of looped around some of them. Should uh, look at the ones up here on the pedestal. The Alfa Romeo. Really don't see much around Wisconsin for Alfa Romeo. They don't really see much for Maserati either. I do see some, you know, older used ones for like super cheap. Like you really wonder why they're so cheap. Oh, 
almost looks like a Porsche front end, except for the uh, Maserati emblem. All right, Alfa Romeo. No idea how to say that. So that uh, the big circles and Alfa Romeo rims must be their uh, signature. This is kind of a small SUV, maybe Macan sized. I don't know, Chevy Blazer sized. To 7,000, Chef 52, Maserati GT, black interior, panoramic roof, 72,000. Oh, here's another one. The last CV. Oh, show the rest of the GT. Flip over here. Maserati's Alfa Romeo's living together in harmony. 2024, 52,000. That's funny, like right from the corner, it almost looks like uh, that Dodge um, Hornet. I guess there's only so many things you can do with car design. At some point, they're all gonna look similar. So that's the pedestal up front and center. The builder. I missed some of the front row, but I believe that's uh, small Volvos. Look at exactly what I walked past. It's used on that side. I mean, I guess it makes sense that the luxury lots are not going to have that much or that many cars. Go so order what you want. Have something in each sample so that you or, you know each model, so you can see what you're getting. My fear is always getting a vehicle that I don't fit in. I know I did walk through these. Yeah, not as much here as I thought. All right, one more look. And I do like the course for the uh, Range Rovers. And that is the Luxury Automall.